Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. So there is an art to to not reinforcing this. And I'm not correcting them at all. When I figure out what it is, I'll let you know. But it really is to be not to be reactive. I'm, I'm purposely not looking at them. They're robbing me blind of my treats, but. <laughs> But I'm not looking. I don't notice anything. Uh, but you can see what happened. They kind of dispersed a little bit. And that's what I want. I don't want to reinforce 70, 80 pound dogs being all over me. And what ends up happening, and Becca does it. I mean, people do it. Uh, my parents did it. You, know, you inadvertently, if I was to start pushing these dogs away from me, I might as well get over here on the ground and start going like this. Because that's what it's going to seem. So now, because we're in such a different, oh, you tender, tender dog, I do want them to be able to, because marshmallows are just oozing with love. But I've got to make it, I've got to make it my rules. Nilla. Oh, but then she wants to steal the sister's thunder. I want to be able to have my face down by one, and, and she needs work on that and not have them biting around your face. Frenchie, he's good. He's good, Frenchie. He's good. And, you know, and you do, I, I want you guys to understand, with these puppies and stuff, there is a lot of playing the affable card and playing the, and, and with these guys, it's almost playing, what I call playing the mommy card. The mommy card. The mommy card. And, and I, want, I want you to know what that is, and they don't understand this concept. The mommy card is the embodiment of the unconditional positive regard, where we're saying, I would always act on your, on your behalf. I would always safeguard your heart. I think that that's what that really is. I would always safeguard your heart, that I wouldn't want you to be hurt or confused or anything. You know, so they don't, oh, you precious angel. They don't know, and I did, just didn't give it to her because she got up, she's gonna do it again here real quick. Um, they don't know that concept exists. They beat each other up. The mother runs away from them. Let's go. People across the street are apparently sewing their feet. <laughs> yes. That's how primitive it is. What These are they doing? Are They're actually work in a garden with a hoe. A hoe, yeah. I saw Not that thing you see on TV. Not that fancy, you know, electric thing that you see on TV that does the planting. So Not that thing. big machine. Wants to grow a garden out here. I do like those strawberry things, like the arches, like you're talking about, and then they grow strawberries all over them. Okay. It's pretty neat, and they're above, so the dogs won't be able to get to them. They're cool. What we need to have, I saw this. Uh, it reminded me of something Pardon. I saw on Facebook, but oh, there was this dog had eaten a whole tube of lipstick. Yeah, my boxer does that too. Unfortunately, it doesn't have it all over its face. I know we got Yet. it. Those are the videos we have to get. Is her actually getting you know how into much stuff? In there, I got that I don't like. I'm pretty sure all it's going to take is leaving it sitting on the counter when, after the next video. She's got and her eyes on. When we come back in, it'll be. Oh yeah. All right, you guys. So that's you know what, what I was doing at the very beginning is kind of establishing who I am. Somebody that you would want to like you, not just somebody who's acting on your behalf, someone who has invented some sports called run in my direction faster than all the other dogs and get the treat. You know, because that's, you know, if people said, well, we want to play with it. When people say, when we, how can we play with it? I say define play. Because play for dogs is practice for real life. So if we play fight, you sure you can see where that would be headed. That's why dogs bite. Get that. Get a good zoom in on that. We got ourselves a fish fight. Fighting fish. They actually have fighting fish. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. 
That's how Japanese that's fighting how mean fish people are. Yeah, they gotta even have fish that fight. <laughs> I know it. Well, no, the fish probably do it naturally. They just call them that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's still though. Anyway, so what I'm saying is, I'm saying several things to myself. I've got puppies that are acting completely uninhibited. Their consciousness of the collar is worked into the bigger picture, so it's it's really just incidental. I, I will tell you that. At this point, the collar is incidental. Because we have such a low reality set right now, I'm not going to add the pager right now. I'm, I'm thinking with all of these dogs, and this one's had way more conditioning. These have had the collar on three or four times. Um, that I do want to buy is towards distance. I want a bias towards distance and I want to harness momentum because both of these are, well, they don't have a lot of momentum. Helen would be mortified if she saw how fat they were. All right, come on. Lisa mm. was extremely disturbed by Tommy's weight. She didn't understand. You know, like she was insulting me by saying, why is my child so overweight? <laughs> Obese. I just go, she she doesn't big, understand it. She she's big boned. She's big boned. I'm so sensitive. Yeah. All right, so that's what I'm thinking. I've got this little, you know, and this is my target dog right here. And these players are just, these are side characters. All right, so I do have a rule of thumb about dogs that disappear into the bushes. And look what we got. I'm going to tell you, you can make a big impact that way. Dogs don't have any consciousness if they're way in the bushes, uh, the only consciousness that they would have of you without a remote collar would be a noise at a distance. A noise at a distance. That's the level of consciousness. Whereas with this little dog, yep, yeah, falls right to it. Um, all right, hang on, hang on. Oh, they're smelling something over there. All right, no, here, 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 hang on, hang on. Yeah, she's smelling something, all right. Where's she gonna go to the bathroom? Yeah. Uh, she's smelling it, all right. Uh, Benjamin, though, is the type that would, I mean, and, and he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't be doing it because he's mean, but I mean, if there was a baby rabbit or something, he would start barking at it and playing with it. All right, come on. I like the size that they are. I think like they them. look great. Do what? I said I like the size that they are. I think they look awesome. So now I'm I'm already I I know. And they know. Oh, Tommy's yes. the epitome of innocence. <laughs> Didn't you? Uh. Oh, we these are hunting dogs. Oh, in a sense, against these collars, and so Jesus, that's where they were. That's why they had to be invented. Necessity is the mother of invention. If they didn't need it, it wouldn't have never occurred. If dogs listened as well as all these people claim, Jesus, you wouldn't need anything. <laughs> all you would need is that, that intangible, impalpable, in anything emotion. Love. That more people have died that, in the name of than. Oh, yes. Any other thing? Oh, you precious. I do want to teach them all of them to give kisses. But, you know, again, if you said I wanted a dog that I could walk in the woods and it stays right with you. And this, with my arms behind my back, is just. You can see that though. So just in an yeah, indifferent. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, if you've got an indifferent, it does nothing to. All right, look. I got him drifting. I got him drifting. If we get 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 up here, oh, I guarantee Benjamin's drifters. gonna drift. Oh, he's gonna drift right the around the corner. Little drifters. Oh, look at him. He's already thinking about it. My new friendship. He's huge. He's a monster.
tell you, they do a real good job of staying with you. I mean, that just kind of shows you where people do go wrong. If you do things right when they're a puppy, it doesn't go that route. All right, look. Benjamin, in this movie, you're the leader. You go wandering down the trail and they follow you. He's a sniffer. Playing his role, playing his yeah. role. They're probably, they're probably tracking us from earlier. Yes, magical. All right, I'm finna get that little yellow one. Get around this corner here a little bit. All right, no, 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 no. Stay right there. Watch. Nilla! Tennessee Nilla. And both of them. Boing! 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 And that's, you know, and again, you gotta be careful, but, you know, she was going directly to the... Yay! Yeah, so you can't put your camera guy. Not that that many of you do. In the middle. Like we, we also get pointers about where your camera guy should be. Not that you guys even have one. Because you just do them on your phone. Um, yeah, anyway, I just saw this other horrible video today. Uh, and they had the pinch collar on the dog. They had Greg's round remote. And then at the end, it was this pit bull. Uh, oh, you precious. The, round re the pinch collar and the mm -hmm, e-collar? Yeah, oh, no, they had both of them, yeah. They wow. have the leash of the pinch collar and they have the e-collar on separate. Wow. And then at the end of the training it, uh, she starts kicking this ball around, kind of like the Maverick starts doing the yeah. monster making. Yeah. And then grabbing the ball and then tugging with it and then kind of going like this, chasing the dog and they kind of hit at him to get him. The look on some and then shut them down once they start no, to no, do that's, stuff. No, no, that's revving them up to... Right, to shut them down? No, uh -oh. no, that's revving them up. That's, that's monster making. That's what they want? No, that's monster making. That's the opposite of shutting them down. Mm -hmm. That's teaching them to get you. Oh, I that's see. teaching them how to run right. their lives in a ditch. You know what I mean? Here's some behavior. Get us. Right, right, sure, right. it's I just see. a play, but I see. later when you don't like us and decide to get us, well, we'll kill you. <laughs> the viewers at home, yeah. Brock and Trish are like, oh my God, I'm just over it. I'm over these people that just monster making. Right, I'll tell you what we got. I got my little French over there in the bushes. A little French. Where is he? Oh, I see. And what, what I'm going to tell you I've got going on. Oh, this is it. He goes back that way. Benjamin. Come on, little Benjamin. Whoa. Oh. And again, what I'm saying to myself is that if it took that long to have the dog go away from me, I better safeguard because, not that I really want Benjamin, if Benjamin did, Benjamin will one day be my running companion. Another giant German shepherd running down the road. But I don't want one that's just a little milk toast. I don't want to be one of those women that raise a little milk toast for a son. Someone's like, what's milk toast mean? I'm not even sure. There used to be, in fact, I remember that when I was a kid growing up. People were like, oh God, not this again. <laughs> uh, we used to have this dish. I got to ask my mom about it. I wish my mom did text. It was called milk toast. And it was some kind of sauce. I'm sure my sister will remember it. I don't know why I just now remembered this. And you poured it over toast and it was called milk toast. It's almost like what the? I don't like soggy toast. It's, hmm. Unless I'm imagining it or that was another life that I had. Mm -hmm. I used to, my mom used to make something too, and it would be bread. I mean, it was sweet. White bread with gravy on the yeah. bread, and it's, well, it would the make the bread sweet? soggy. I just don't like soggy bread. Oh, no, this makes it soggy. Oh, yeah. Well, no, if it was toast, if you ate it right away, if you didn't eat it mm -hmm. right away, well, it was what you call soggy. Yeah. I'm bringing back bad memories for summer with my stories Gross. of the milk toast. <laughs> the milk toast. So always when I was thinking of 
you know, milk toast, even though that's not how they <laughs> spell it, you precious angel. Um, I would always think of that dish, and that's what I would think. That milk toast is just like some soggy, you know. Yeah. Oh. At least it was sweet, I mean. Benjamin's like, what are you barking at? That'll be good for my dog behavior series. That's called Forgot My Friend. Watch, look, look. Oh, he's gonna go in those bushes. We're gonna do portraits right after this. <clears throat> and now we gotta do our last group. We're not gonna have time for pictures today. All right, we're gonna go this way. Start going, start going. Keep your, keep your camera on him. Benjamin! Benjamin!